What up, everybody? We're in Kingdom of Heroes, and we're actually doing the trial. Why not? I wanted to showcase the free hero that I got. She is a badass. It is E-Free. She is up on the banner right now. She is a featured hero, and I looked up some statistics, and I was seeing that many players were using their free five-star ticket to go for E-Free. And I was like, there had to be a good reason for that. Figured she was somewhat fairly powerful, so... I got her. All right, she's one of my four or five star characters. I put her in already. So let's really showcase real quick what makes this girl a force to be reckoned with. She really is gnarly. I'll show you guys why. So uh, let's start with some fun stuff with AoEs. Here's why AoEs are awesome. They can be effective. This girl's about to use one. She's Earth Element. She's not going to hurt them that much. Now it's Eve for each turn. Oh, she's beautiful. So this is her basic attack right here. Actually, hold on. Attack a target enemy. So she could do this, and she could hit everybody around her. And it's gnarly, but I might want to save it. Here's her basic attack, Flame Slash. Watch what she does with this. Her Just her most basic attack... And it has a 60% chance to give you continuous damage, like burn damage, for the next two turns. But look at the attack alone. Yeah, she's an AoE queen. She That E3 sword of hers, she literally smacks everybody around her. And that's just her basic attack. She has another attack that hurts people greatly. Um, this girl's cool too, because her basic attack is like a four block AoE that poisons and hurts it's pretty cool this girl back here my little imp she's all about that single target hardcore damage and status effect very cool team i enjoy it very much and these are all the characters that i pulled for free well you know i did i, I just full disclosure i did kick this game like eight bucks when I first made this account just to support it. So I'm fairly happy with the five star heroes that I have. I have some of them that are the actual featured heroes from the banner right now. Um, and that would be uh, Ifrit. Hold on. I was going to go for the samurai dude. That's a five star that looks really cool on the other banner. Just because I, I just dig the way he looks. Uh... But I already have two five-star characters that are that same class and that same uh, element. So it's going to help my account better if I just get heroes that are different elements and different classes so I can cover more, right? I don't want to take every single character that is, a, <laughs> that is a, a green element swordsman because then what happens when I have to fight a bunch of fire units? So uh, I didn't get to, you know, I... I kind of took a step back from trying to get the samurai character that I want because I already have a couple of those classes and they're five star characters and they do crazy ass things. Uh, but I was very happy to get E free. Um, they gave me kind of a little hint um, when you use your ticket that lets you pick whatever badass five star character you want. I like how they don't exclude the characters that are like featured on the banners now. That is awesome. Other games are just not doing that. Like, if you want the new character that's on the banner right now, you have to do paid pulls in most games. They're not going to let you get it with tickets, they're, and they're sure as hell aren't going to let you pick those new heroes as a guaranteed hero. Uh, they just aren't. They're going to let you pick from a pool of the generic heroes. Uh, so this is cool. So far, this has a lot of promise in it. Let's see. These guys are all archers. They seem to be all red. Uh-oh, I don't have that much blue. I don't have that much blue to take with me. So, since they're red, uh, green needs to sit out. And in fact, let's bring our tank. Let's bring our tank because he's going to be able to tank, hopefully, some of these shots. I'll be right in. But yeah, and the combat's been getting more fun. Uh, let's see, I want you there. Combat has been getting more fun, fun-er. <clears throat> now that I actually got some moves to work with, let's see. I'll provoke this bastard. Wait. 
Oh, that hits everybody around. You know what? I'll just do a basic attack, lowers defense, maybe pull some aggro. Uh, the girl with the badass AoE. We're just going to do our basic attack. Not in the best. Oh, wow. They're, they get to buff everyone around, and that's pretty cool. I have a character that does that too, actually. She gives everybody around her a badass shield and increases their speed. So, uh, that, and she throws AoE damage. That's cool. So, let's have this girl actually target the boss with some Nar Nar. 360's not bad. Ooh, they threw the web on me. See, that's why I like this game. They These little enemies and monsters just keep coming out with this crazy stuff. Let's do our AoE with this guy. Yeah, I love those fall blades. They're just Q. That's why I'm rocking him, even though he's a four-star character. He does go all the way up to six-star, just like the five-star characters do, so he's just a lower form of a five-star character, so I feel good investing into him because, I mean, why not? He's going to pay off. He's going to end up being five-star and six-star anyway, and he seems pretty powerful already just in his... Uh, his fourth star form. Pretty happy with him. And I just like his character design. I like the wheels. And I like that they made him like a, a tank. Like a shield. Uh, right? So he can aggro. He can take damage. And at the same time, he can dish out some good damage. And he can break defense. And he has these cool... He just has a cool sprite design, yo. Let's poison all these fools. Right? Alright. Bam! some good poison and it's taking continuous damage from my uh my ifrit so here's the boss let's provoke him so he's stuck attacking my tank this girl ain't got no time to play she'll finish the spider off and then we just have to focus down the boss yeah let's hit the boss with this that has a chance to poison him my tank taking, uh, wow, he just took some, uh, the boss just took like almost 200 damage from something. That was cool. Da -da 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 -da. And this uh, succubus chick I have, sometimes she gets to attack twice in a row. That is pretty dope. Uh, can I lower this guy's defense? That's what I need to do. Yeah, defense reduced. That's what I need. This girl will come in here, finish off the last beast. Now we got this boss all alone. His health is looking good. And is he, uh... Yo, is he healing off the damage that he's doing to me? Because that doesn't look good. Let's double tap this fool with some magic. We need it. Maybe I should just move away from him. I'll block these two girls over here. We didn't lower his defense, but we did get a crit in there. Target has more active buff. Successfully hit blocks hit point recovery. Ooh, that's what I need to do. I need to block hit point recovery. That's going to be useful here because... Damn it! He just stole a ton of health. I thought I was blocking that from him. What is going on here? It's not good. There's something going on with this boss here where I'm having a hard time dealing with him. Dude, that's supposed to do pretty good damage. Okay, I see what's going on here. He's just healing pretty good, but hey, he managed to take my damn tank out. And uh, my tank was the one that could heal block. Oh, see, he's stealing like 800 at a time, yo. Okay, I'm going to try to use her buff to put a shield on me. Maybe if I have a shield up. Maybe if I have a shield up. He won't be able to steal health from it. 
And I'm going to need to move over here, block this guy off, and hopefully live for a turn. Oh, man, he's still staying at half health. This is not good. I might have to... Oh, no, why did I just do that? I should have put her shield up. And he's AoEing with that. That's absurd. Alright, so we have Invincible up. It'd be nice to get some of that double tapping action from my Succubus that's just... And this guy just seems to be doing way more healing than I'm doing damage to him right now. Life steal 1128, yo. That's a problem. Well, looks like I have to actually work on my characters instead of splitting my resources, but this is why uh, this is why this game is entertaining right now. What did I get? Did, I didn't make it to the 10th floor, there's no way. Did I get any rewards? I sure as hell did not make it to the 100th. So you get it to the 100th, you get a scroll to summon like one of these 5 star heroes, 4 or 5 star heroes for light and dark, which are some pretty cool heroes. From my understanding, they're actually partially locked in here too. Um, some of the dark and light heroes, because they're so strong, they're not letting you tweak with all their abilities yet until they get unlocked, so that's cool. Especially since I have a badass mage. Uh, that's a five star that I got to pick that is a light and dark hero I'm going for the light healer because I'm sure it's probably one of the strongest healers in the game Being like an actual healer of the light variety. It's the only one I've seen Maybe just maybe just maybe we'll be able to pull something like that Oh look a couple of achievements just a couple here just a couple there but I'm getting pulls and lapis. Oh, look at that. 45 crystals right there. There's enough for a pull. There's enough to start getting us to the next pull. Some scrolls here. That's right, because there's still plenty of stuff to unlock in this game. Ooh, I like those... Uh, I like the little red ruby currency because they let you pull on the banner that you make. So it's going to have the characters on it that you actually want to pull and the characters that you're actually choosing. So, uh, da, 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 da. and of course they have uh, they have little stuff that you unlock everywhere, everywhere. So, you know, I could do a couple of summons. Maybe try to pull for this guy. Noelle is probably pretty strong since she just dropped. But everybody was trying to pick Ifrit as the free character. And they had only 3% of the people chose Bakyo. And Noelle was like a 2%. Ifrit was at like a 27%. She was the highest free character chosen. I believe it's for a reason now. Because uh, she AoEs with just about everything. She burns... Um, and on top of that, her her most powerful attack that hits everybody around her, every enemy instantly has a weakness to that attack. So it, it just counts as a stronger attack. You, you're always going to get like the class advantage buff from it, at least from my understanding of it. So that is pretty cool, right? I can go into the heroic summons. We have spirit. Oh, we only have 20. It takes 50 to summon, but I could get these cool characters that I want up here. Light and dark. I'm just making sure we don't... Like, legendary summons I'll do with you guys because they have a chance of just dropping really awesome stuff. Uh, but artifact. Artifacts is I was what I was looking for because these look like they can actually... Uh, really strengthen some characters up and I'm happy with some of the characters that I have already like so if anything I'm gonna move over probably to the artifact summon um, I can't really even equip some of these right now because you have to fully awaken the characters so they can handle that 
buff or whatever they're saying it is. But I'll be working on it. Successful crit hits have a 40% chance to increase your speed for one turn. Yeah, like that's a pretty strong ability to add. And that was just like one of these average cards. It's not even one of the rare ones. Like to get some rare ones, but hey, if you kill an enemy, you have a 40% chance to increase the duration of all your buffs for one turn. That can be useful for certain characters. That can make all the difference right there. Oh, can we ever get a rare one? She looks surprised. Oh, this one is, uh... It's not rare. It's it's heroic artifact, so it's not like legendary, but let's see. Priests only. Cool. Flying Feathers Dancer. Your, ac your accuracy increased by 3%. At the end of turn, after using skill 1, you have a 30% chance to reduce the cooldown of... <laughs> of all of your skills by one turn this is awesome your your s1 is the one that you can spam it's your spammable skill Ooh, that red priest that i have that's a four star that i'm gonna take to a five she has like a creepy little mask on her s1 is great like she throws in a little fireball and her s2 and her s3 uh they have a cooldown but they have abilities that can heal you pretty good and and take debuffs off of you so anything that would let this girl use her s1 um and have you know a little more accuracy but have a 30 percent chance to reduce the cooldowns of her s2 and her s3 which are like her big damage aoe move and her move that heals your team that could make that character way more potent just from adding this one card to them so that one was worth it do i have enough to summon one more you know what? You know what? It's Christmas, dog. It's Christmas. We're going to do it for the channel. Now, you know what? We're going to do it because I've been having fun here and this game's earned this. I'm supporting them with 20 bucks today. Oh, and you know what? I could probably look at the, uh, the points that I have. Right? Yeah, my item depot. I'll go pick those up. What is this? A summon. Oh, that's going to get me a 3 to 5 star. So that's a summon we could do that might actually get me something cool. Yeah, I figure this is a pretty good uh, little investment into the game for them. You know what? I like these artifacts. I have to look into it a little bit more because I might not be able to equip all these artifacts yet until I can... Uh, uh, awaken some of my heroes. Uh, if your attack doesn't kill a target, you recover your action gauge by 4%, which is going to help you like double tap and go before your enemy, so that's pretty cool. Come on, little girl. Be surprised. When she gets like this, oh, holy cow look on her face, that's when you know you're getting something rare. Successful credits have a 4% chance to reduce the target's action gauge by 5%, so you're making them go slower, which can affect the rest of your team and let them go first and kill the enemy off before he can even do anything so you can do some fun stuff with that upon attacking if your remaining hit points below 40 percent you recover three percent of the damage inflicted as hit points cool i'll take golden light all day it's a rare artifact i'll take it all day because it can help me with a vampire build awesome put that on my tank dude Oh, this one's uh, golden. Oh, she's happy. She's smiling. That means this might be something good. Yo, this is legendary, yo. At the end of turn, you grant an ally with the highest attack within one space of you. With increased mobility one f for one turn, and you have 50% chance to recover their action gauge by 10%. That is fucking sweet. Priest only. Uh, yeah, the, I can put this on that one priest where uh, I think she has to be by you. You know, you would put this on a priest that has some sort of ability to use where it's empowering and buffing everyone around her anyway. Because then you're going to be within one space of somebody. Uh, and this way you can give them this uh, highest attack with one space. So you increase mobility plus increasing your mobility for a unit. 
that especially has some crazy AoE to dump and being able to run over to the enemy and dump your crazy AoE before they can move up and attack you because you move four blocks and they move three. It's a huge advantage. Movement's always a huge advantage in uh, in these grid-based strategy games. That is just effing awesome. Very happy about that. But you know what? Ten summons until the next. What do we get? And look, there's arcane summons I can't even do yet here. How sweet is that? I wish I had some more of these, but you know what? We do have enough for some pull. We pulled Ifrit. It would be nice to get more of her to combine. This guy, like I said, I already have two of his class. Ugh. Ugh. You know what? Should I, or should I get more artifacts? What about heroics? What heroic heroes are there here? You know what? We can just do our advanced pull, because at least this has a chance. This girl comes up and talks to get you a, a four star. Hey, what else? These girls, I can always... I can always feed them into my other characters. Yeah, I honestly feel that like the artifacts would probably strengthen <laughs> my heroes more. Uh, and since I'm pretty much happy with a lot of the heroes that I got, I want to run the ones that I think they look dope. That's definitely a big deal for me in this game because the heroes look so cool. When you attack two or more targets at the same time, ooh, which is what Ifrit doing, you recover your action gauge by 3% per target hit. That is awesome! It's just a rare artifact, it's not even uber rare, but for somebody like uh, um, Ifrit, who's hitting ev like three people at a time potentially with her uh, just her basic move, that's awesome. Broken sword at the end of your turn, you have a 70% chance to reduce the attack of an enemy with the highest attack with only one space for you for one turn. Cool. You can neuter the enemy you're fighting. Make them what hit way less hard. Good for bosses. Successful crits hit, hit have a 40% chance to reduce the target's action gauge by 5%. Yeah, I'm down. Reducing that action gauge means I get to t go and they don't. Yes, here we go. Come on, baby. Give me something good. I'll take purple all day right now. This seems like some strong stuff. Let's see. Archer only. If the enemy doesn't have an active buff, your attack ignores 50% of their defense. And if you are a priest, you ignore an additional 10% of their defense. This is archer only, though. Oh, if they are a priest. Cool. Cool. It's going to make you deadly against priests, and uh, you're going to be like a priest hunter. You're going to be like a pretty damn strong archer with this. It is a heroic artifact, though. Very cool. Very cool. I don't have that many archers, though, so I might have to try to pull for Noel now. Shit. Successfully counter attacks have a 50% chance to silent an enemy hit. For one turn. Well, if I have somebody that counters, maybe I'll throw this on him. Ooh. Ooh. Give me gold. Ah, oh, damn. End of your turn, you have a 70% chance to reduce the defense of an enemy with the highest defense in one space for me for one turn. Cool. Just let me get my attacker next to the boss, and they're going to be uh, getting their defense cut. Cool. I'm down with that. Ooh, here we go. This one's a gold. Legendary, baby. That's what I'm talking about. What do we got here? This is dope. Archers only. FML. Your attack is increased by 10%. At the start of your turn, you have a 50% chance to apply a debuff that increases damage received by 30% for one turn. On a random target, it's more than four spaces of you. Damn, I might have to pull an archer, yo. We got another gold? Oh, purple, baby. I'll take that. We, Yo, might have to pull an archer here. And priest. 
Your resistance increased by 5%. That's awesome. At the end of your turn, if one of your buffs disappears, you grant one random ally with increased mobility for one turn. If one of your buffs disappears, that means if you buff yourself and it wears off, you're going to grant one random ally with increased mobility for one turn. Excludes buff steals and removals. Okay, but check this out. If your buff expires on its own, which a lot of buffs only last for one turn, it doesn't have a range either. You're just going to be super buffing one of your other units with mobility. Wow. Mobility is huge. In these games, it's all the difference. It's like one of the biggest advantages you can have. So, this cool holy artifact for a priest. Might have to use some of these free five-star character tickets that I get next to get some kind of gnarly ass damage priest. Night Festival. Using skill one gives you 30% chance to reduce the cooldown of all your skills by one. Down. I'm down with that. Oh. We received a... Uh, we received a card. Look... Oh, you know what? It's probably in our mailbox. I mean, where did I receive that damn thing? Oh, cool. Oh, those are just little fragments of it. Is it in my mailbox? I should be able to use that ticket somewhere, yo. Folks, I know they didn't give me normal tickets. Maybe I should have pulled an archer. Hold on. Costume, summon, storage. Units. Where is my inventory? Oh, cool. I got some new runes to work out. Ah, here we go. This will give me an artifact. Oh, cool. So I get to pick one. I get to pick a legendary artifact. And this tells me which one everyone tried to summon. are alive including self your attack inflicts additional damage proportion to the enemy's max HP you recover 3% of the damage as hit points that's gnarly you grant an ally with the lowest hit point within one space a buff that shares the portion of the damage uh, okay I can see why 66.6% .6 of people went with that one Question is, oh, it's for fighters. For shields. What does the one for shields do? Hmm. Shield fighters, bows, priest. Yeah, that's the one that's up right now. Mages. What does this do? Your accuracy increased by 5%. See, this one, though, is for fighters. And I have a couple of fighters that are strong. Your attacks increased by 5%. Uh, no. We're going to go with this one because three more allies are alive, including self. Your attack inflicts additional damage proportion to the enemy's hit points. And you recover 3% of the damage. And that can go on a fighter, from my understanding of it. Cool. We just pulled a... Uh, a legendary artifact for fighters and I happen to have a couple fighters so they could actually use that amazing
obtain one add artifact card. Cool. Grease only when using skill one grants the ally with the lowest hit point percent the continuous recovery for one turn and the end of the turn you have a 30% chance to remove one debuff from them. I can't wait to put that on a priest, especially one that uses her S1 to hurt people. And then she'll be able to heal somebody with that. So that's cool. What's hero piece? Oh, we collect enough of these. We obtain these heroes. What else do we got? Dark Awakening Pack. Cool. Now maybe I can upgrade one of my dark heroes. Oh, cool. I can get legendary runes. See, I haven't been opening this stuff. Those are badass runes. I'm sure they have great stats on them. Yeah. They're the highest star runes I've seen. Needed to fight monsters, restore AP 100. I don't know, but let's activate all these. Oh, I only have one. That looks like a five star rune. Sturdy life rune, crit damage plus nine defense. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna be able to equip some of this stuff. Oh, I get to pick which ones I want. Too bad they don't tell me which ones I already have. Whoa. They just gave me a bunch of them? Let's see what this one. Ooh, a legendary. Okay, that gives a lot of attack. Cool, we're getting whole rune sets. Here's a legendary swift rune. We all have legendary rune sets to put on some of these heroes now that actually mix and match. You know. I only have 20 of those. What could it possibly want me to do? Normal summons? Hmm. All right. So let's go into our heroes. We have a sorceress. We have a fighter. Now the question is, there's runes and then there's refine. Havoc is what I want on her, I believe. I'll equip these. And then I'll upgrade them. This girl should be getting a pretty damn good power boost. In fact, if anything, I should put maybe some of these defense runes on my tank. We'll see. I can always, uh, you know, move them around. This does have a lot of crit damage and hit points, which I want this girl to have, but the main defense stat is high. Uh, if it was more defense and maybe some lifesteal, I'd probably want to give it to... Uh, Um, my tank. Hip attack and accuracy. Attack, attack. Max hit point speed. Attack, hit point. Crit damage, resistance. Attack, accuracy. I 
these upgrades, some of them are successes, some of them aren't. It's a percentage chance, but you sure seem to get a lot more power as they uh, as they level up. Oh, another attack 6%. Cool. Then towards the end, you start failing. If you get lucky, you can get a lot out of one of these. It does cost you gold every time, but I've been saving all mine up. Attack 15 to 57 sounds a lot better. Resistance, defense, max hit point speed. Just got a good attack on it, why not? Now, I don't think I have the right rune sets on the right characters. I really don't. Some characters need certain stats, and I haven't matched them up all that well because, well, I just kind of started putting whatever I had on whatever I had at the time. I mean, we all know the struggle when you're starting a new account. Damn. That thing just failed. <laughs> that thing just failed every single time. That was terrible. What does this thing do? Max hit points, attack, accuracy, defense, crit rate, speed. Attack, speed. Let's upgrade that just for the speed. Because even if they don't match here, I'll still upgrade them because I'll put them on someone else that actually needs speed. And they'll get a good attack out of it. Uh, the one tree girl. She, uh... She uses speed and empowers her her S1 attack that can do great damage. Oh, come on. You could have had that one in the bag. So here she is, Efrit. Can't do much about her skills. Can't awaken her yet. Story, costume, review... Yo, let's make her my leader because she is a badass. I like that flaming sword. Now this guy. I do need my tank to be up to par, yo. What is this? Crit damage, defense, max hit points, max hit points, defense. Yeah. He needs that. Let's upgrade the hell out of it because I don't know how much he crits, but look at all this defense, max hit points, max hit points, defense. Like all the secondary ones here are great for a tank, so why not empower this a little bit? I need this guy to just run up front and be able to take a bunch of hits and pull aggro. But geez, that crit damage is nice on him. And now I have to see if I can actually get any of these heroic. They weren't runes, they were those cards I was pulling. A lot of these heroes might not even be able to rock those yet. Uh, because, I don't know, there might be a requirement. I wasn't sure. So let's see. Oh damn it, I'm, I'm missing that one. Wait, no I'm not. Attack speed, attack resistance, attack. Max hit points. Equip. And upgrade. Why not get more speed, more max hit points? Max hit points is what I really want. The attack is always nice too, so he can do a little bit more while he's breaking enemies. Max hit points for that's what I want. I want him to be able to take a beating. This guy needs to stay alive because he needs the enemies to swarm him because his saw blade attacks hit everybody around. There we go, max hit points some more. A flat number and a 4%. And you know what? Let's do that again. I don't care how many times it's going to fail. It's going to pass a couple times. There we go. And I can always move these runes to somebody else. Accuracy doesn't do much for him. Us. Yeah, we'll take that. And then what is this thing down here? 
defense, crit damage. This one is defense, speed, resistance. Yeah, that's way more tanky. And let's upgrade it, yo. And then we'll run right back into that level where I just was. And we'll see how big of a difference 10 minutes of upgrading ruins make in this game. And I'll see if I can get any of those cards on them. Oh, max hit points, resistance, that's what I want. Keep going. You're only a two star, damn it. Come on. I'll take that. I'll take it. This one's at least a three star. We got max hit points and some attacks. Speed, speed's always good. It's gonna let you go first. That way this guy can hit everybody and aggro them. Get their defense down, crit rate, eh. Maybe if I tap it, it'll have a higher chance of succeeding. There we go. Damn it. Yeah. All right. What are we missing on him? Defense, accuracy. Well, at least the primary stat here is defense. That's what I want. Some hit points. Come on. Next one should give me another stat. Oh, it's attack. Well, defense and some attack. He's going to be a tank that can bite back a little bit. This one's got defense, resistance, and max hit points. And, oh, and crit rate. How about some lifesteal? That's right, we have to put those cards on them to get, like, lifesteal and stuff like that. Question is Awaken. Oh, I got some of the awaken materials for him. What's awakening valley? Okay. Skills, not much. Stats. Okay. So there's shacks. Uh, so we need a priestess, right? Because one of our priestesses is going to have uh, it's going to have to be a little bit better. How can we ruin this girl up? Let's see. Life. Max hit points, max hit points. That's what we need for her. Because she, uh, she can heal. She can do some damage and some burn, and she can still heal any of my allies or my characters that catch a debuff, 
she gets rid of that debuff and heals them for a good percentage of their hit points. So it has been useful. She's kept people around with that. And it gets rid of a debuff at the same time. So really helps your character when it can go off. The thing is, if there's no debuff on your character, I don't think the healing I don't think the healing works. So it's kind of one of those things. I am trying to empower her a little bit because she's a four star. I need her to run with a five star sometimes. Uh, depending on if I need her element. And we just pulled all these artifacts for, you know, <laughs> for these priests. So since this is a priest I've already been working on, and she has a... She has the ability to use some of that cool stuff I got. Uh, why not? Here's all the new ones we got. What does this do? Crit damage, max hit points, speed, crit rate. I'm going to want to save those. You know what? All that crit rate stuff. Oh man, I could have a full set here. Attack speed, max hit points. Max hit points defense, max hit points accuracy, attack, resistance, attack, resistance. You know what? We're going to equip it so we can get a, we can finally get a matching, an actual matching rune set. And these are five star runes, so they should be able to get some more some more good stuff out of them. Let's see what the difference is. I'm digging this. I like this system so far. And then we'll run this character real quick just to see how much stronger, if any stronger, she got from these runes being put on her and actually matching. We will have to see. about this max hit points max hit points attack six. Oh yeah we're gonna equip that we're gonna upgrade the shit out of it just by ten times we are trying to save some of our gold silver to work on some of the other heroes I want to do some crazy lifesteal stuff I still have to figure out a way to equip those artifact cards to them uh, I'll try to find my way back into there it's like I'm still trying to familiarize myself with the system. Look at this. Attack, defense, defense. Max hit points, speed. Awesome. The green swordsman chick I need I have. I need to try to empower her with speed as well. Because that increases how effective her S1 is. So instead of defense. For e who is all damage, we're going for crit rate, nice, attack, and instead of crit rate plus 1 and speed 2, we get attack 9, crit damage plus 5%, defense 16, resistance 4, yeah, we're going to equip that, and now look, it's giving us 35% more attack for having the matching, uh, for having the matching... The full matching set. This is sweet. Might just have to give this girl a double round of enhancements. Oh, and they're all successes too. No! If we get cut off, it's because I need to go into my device and... Uh, change the length of uh, how long my videos go before it wants to cut them off. Oh, attack 29. Yo, let's do that again, just to, just to make her balls to the wall, because now she's going to have a high crit rate with her AoE attack that burns everybody and hits everybody around her. Most of these are going to fail, but every success is going to actually give us a lot more. Bonus stats upgraded by chance. Let me feel lucky. Let's see how bad we can get this one. Just give me one or two more successes. I'll be happy AF. 
because I know they can make a huge difference. It's okay. Even if it's only one out of ten, give me a couple more. Come on, we're gonna fail a ton of them. Oh, there we go. There's success. Crit damage plus eleven percent. That's nice. Two percent more attack. Tap it. Tap it. We're gonna do it one more time. Even though we're wasting like a hundred thousand silver. Ooh, success. Something tells me Efree's gonna hit and crit hard. 27% more to your crit just off of this one rune. Oh, almost 29. That's enough of that. Damage, max hit point speed, crit rate, crit damage, crit damage. Hmm. Attack, crit rate, attack, accuracy. Yeah, these look pretty good to me so far. Okay. I think the girl's gonna be a beast. And you know what? You know what? Why not? Let's give her the last level up wizard. Oh, from 26 to 32. Cool. Right? So, Ifrit's decked VF out. Yo. Uh, we have a priestess here. We have a priestess. Can we upgrade her? No, we don't have the materials. Alright, let's rune set this little girl. Uh, what does she need? Life? What would life do? Attack and resistance. Swift. Attack, resistance, crit damage. about this girl? What is she rocking? No, she doesn't even have a full kit. How about we give her... Yeah. This girl does a lot of damage. She's fairly powerful. We'll equip her with a, uh... Oh, you know, maybe I should have saved this girl with the speed. I don't even think we'll have to, uh... Her speed means she's gonna get to go first and just take fools out before they can be a problem. Let's charge two. Yeah, I think we're doing plenty fine here with these. Da, 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 da. And where's my little poison chick? Oh, see, this isn't pretty. Havoc. What do we got? Well, we have... And we have life. What does life do? She doesn't need life. She needs charge. I don't have any stone skin yet. Let's give this girl havoc.
And then, hopefully we can try to find a way to give them those little power-up cards. Oh, so much for that. Well, this is me building my account. I hope you had fun. I'll do a part two where I'm actually showing e free you know, running around destroying things. So, it's already almost an hour vid. Hope you enjoyed because I've been having a lot of fun in Kingdom of Heroes. And I'm just kind of try trying to show off the system and some of the stuff that you can do. In case anybody else wants to get into this game. The summons are nice. They're, they're giving you five star tickets that are going to let you pull the newest hero that they drop. So, there's no paid banners so far. Uh, I think it's very fair and I'm surprised at how many, you know, tickets they give you where it's just like, here, go ahead and pick a five star hero and it can be the newest hero that just came out and dropped. We don't care. It's pretty awesome. For somebody that's only put in like $10 into their gotcha now, I feel very happy with the characters that I got. So, uh, when I get done actually working these guys out, I'll get some gameplay in here and you'll see what the fuss is all about and how I set these up. Now that I'm actually kind of going through and messing with it. But this is my account so far in a nutshell after three days. I'm sure you could roll something way better than this. Way easier. Just play through some of the chapters. I haven't even played through them all. And you'll get a bunch of five star heroes. And they're all unique and badass. And I know you'll have a lot of fun. And if some of them don't tickle your fancy. You can swap them out with plenty of other ones. Just to fit your game style. So later everybody. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, if I could do any more pulls, I would. Maybe the next vid before I show off Efree how gnarly she is. You should pick her up if you get a chance, by the way. Especially with the free tickets you're getting. She's just a good choice from what I've seen. Maybe we'll do some pulls. Even though I really don't need anything other than artifacts. Uh, I would continue recording right now, but it's probably going to be boring for me to watch me try to go through and figure out where their artifacts are and all that. So I'll do that on my own when they're ready. I will uh, make a vid of them tearing up some shit. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon. Later.